If you love Beautify 3 and missing it in Next, then I got you covered. In this video, we are going to see how we can add Beautify inside your Next project. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So we'll quickly open up our terminal and we'll uh, start a Next project. So basically what we'll do, we'll run uh, the Nuxi command. So npx Nuxi init. For those of you who don't know Nux3 and want to learn Nux3, then I would suggest one of my video where I have created a uh, app blog application from scratch. So you might check that out. So as you can see, we already have installed our Nux3 uh, application and the name is Nux app. So let's go and CD into it. Nux app. So let's open it up in our favorite code editor and let's arrange it a little bit. Now you can see we have this thing and now let's uh, arrange it. I will just open it up here and I'll close all my existing windows. So now we have arranged our uh, windows. Now let's install the dependencies. So for that I will run yarn install if you don't have yarn if you are using npm or pnpm then in that case just uh, use that command like for npm you have to use npm install or npm i for pnpm you have to use pnpm install so let's do that so as you can see our dependency has been installed now let's run it yarn dev so it's already started uh, running so let's open it up in our browser so as you can see, uh, we have the Nux3 application. Now what we are going to do, we are going to install our Beautify in it. So let's go and check if there is any documentation for that. So if you scroll down a little bit inside installation, there is a documentation indeed for uh, Vue 3, but we are using Nux, we need SSR support. So I'm not able to find anything. Anyway, so basically what we'll do, we'll start off by installing uh, the Beautify and then we'll create the Nuxt plugin. So let's uh, check for the Beautify. Okay, so we got it. So it's yarn yard Beautify 303. So please make sure to mention the version. Otherwise, uh, the Beautify currently, the by default would be 2.6 or something. So please uh, mention that uh, number or just copy it from the documentation. Then we'll go here and then uh, we will install it so run the same command it will start installing the dependency okay so now we have installed the dependency we need few more things to run the beautify beautify by default requires the sas library so we have to add that so let's do that yarn add yarn add sas okay so that's all we need in terms of dependencies so now let's run the app again so it's already running in the another instance so let's open it up i think it broke so let's uh, run it again yandev let's open it up so uh, as you can see we have the uh, default home page so what we will do we'll uh, delete the component and we'll write something uh, like h1 and uh, hello okay so now let's see how we can add uh, the Beautify. So basically what I'll do, I'll go here and I'll check uh, how they do it in view. In view, you have to create an instance of the Beautify and then you have to uh, give it to the view to use it as a view plugin. So we cannot use that inside our, our next application. So what we have to do, basically we, we have to create a plugin inside plugin we will have the access to the view instance inside that view instance we can mount or whatever we want so we need to create a plugin directory so i'll just do that plugins then inside plugins directory i would uh, call the plugin as beautify.ts as we are using typescript and here we will uh, write our plugin so basically you have to export the plugin so define next plugin that's what we are looking for it will give us the next instance then inside next instance what you can do you will get something like next then view app so here we can use uh, the infamous mounting option use basically that's what we are going to do so basically now i will create the beautify instance and now i will mount it inside our um, underlying view app inside our next app 
so basically what i will do i will uh, take a variable name beautify okay and then what i will do i will import the create beautify function beautify and then create beautify okay so i'll pass the create beautify and now inside that we have to pass our option since we are using nuxjs we want the ssr functionality so what i will do i will use ssr and i'll set it to true okay now what you can do we can use the uh, beautify option here okay so i guess i have made a spelling mistake so i'll just quickly uh, change it to the correct one beautify okay so uh it's it's been uh mounted now let's check our application let's refresh it okay as you can see it doesn't uh, affect our application so what we need to do we need uh, to tell the beautify to use all the components and all the directives so what we will do we will import all the components from beautify and directives and we will mount it inside the create beautify uh, composable so let's do that import all as component from beautify actually it's auto completing the wrong thing components and then we'll also import all as directive uh, all directives as directives and now what i'll do i'll give the components and directives to our app and let's see what happens so now you can see we have some error if you scroll uh, down in your uh, terminal you can see the css file is unknown so now what we have to do we we now have to add a bunch of css file inside our next application since we are using next we cannot just directly add the css file here so what we'll do we'll use the next way and we'll use the css as a normal uh, css how we do in normal next uh, project okay so i'll go inside next config inside next config you have something called css array so in that array i will um, mount the uh, css file given by beautify so let's uh, do that so it would be inside beautify and then styles and then main.sas so this is the file we need but the thing is uh, we are adding sas and next by default uh, doesn't uh, compile the sas into css file so what we have to do we have to basically tell next uh, to do that so what we'll do we'll uh, add the build and then at the time of transpiling i will add beautify so it what it will do it will basically uh, compile all your sas uh, to css files now let's uh, restart the server again using run yarn dev and let's open it up in our browser so okay let's wait a little bit so as you can see our font has a change to roboto that means uh, we have successfully installed beautify 3 and i can prove it to you by using one of their uh, components so let's do that quickly i'll just go inside some contemporary component maybe i'll show you the buttons so i'll just uh, take uh, one button and then i'll show you okay so let's uh, add the button in our app dot view so just below the button uh, hello text i'll just put the button and then i will see you can see uh in in button as you're using typescript you can get all this auto completion and all the prop types and all so this is really cool that was not there in the uh, beautify 2 so i guess uh they have added all the types and all that is very good so let's uh, use some properties so i'll use like color uh, what color should i give let's give primary and let's save it and let's check in our so as you can see we have uh, we can able to uh, use the beautify uh, components so that's what we wanted i would quickly what we'll do i will add try to add a navigation bar and let's see uh, if it is working or not so inside layouts there would be app bars so as you can see uh, there are a lot of app bar design pre-designed app bars what i'll do i'll just copy all the things from here and then i'll put it in our app dot view and let's see if it works properly so yeah so inside div i'll put all the code 
and let's uh, save it and let's check what happens so as you can see uh, we are getting the beautify uh, elements here so now one thing that is missing from our beautify installation is the support for material design icons so let's see how we can add material design icons so basically it's a different package right so we have to add that package and then we have to add the css file here so let's uh, do that so i'll open my command prompt i'll clear everything and so quickly what i will do i will add the dependency yarn add mdi we are installing uh, the mdi package which is material design icon package from google to our project so it's a um, um, optional step if you want to use that package uh, icon package you can do that but since uh, beautify is a material design uh, library so it's best you use the material uh, design icons as well so that's my personal recommendation you can use it or not use it that's totally up to you you can maybe use some different icon library altogether so that's totally up to you let's run the app again using yarn dev so but first what we have to do we have to add the css file so let's add that it would be uh, at inside mdi font and css material design icons dot css so basically this file would be uh, responsible for all your material design icons so let's save it and let's try to add a icon file so first what i'll do i'll go inside that uh, in that component library and let's see if I can pull a icon command okay so let's uh, just use that so what I'll do I'll go inside icons button and then I'll try to show this icon okay so let's do that let's copy it quickly and I'll go inside my app dot view uh, outside the card I will paste it let's see what happens so as you can see we have the support of material design icons okay guys so that's all about how you can add beautify to your next project i hope you have enjoyed the video if you did then hit the like button and uh, if you want to see more videos like this or if you want to get involved in the next and view community then i have a discord channel i would recommend you to join there because there are a lot of people like you who are hanging around and uh, discussing projects ideas together so you don't want to miss it out believe me so just join there and I will meet you in the next video. Till then, stay blessed, stay happy. Bye.